Welcome everybody back to another episode of Making a Mansion. This is episode 2, and sorry for the lag, but today in this episode I'm going to be making the master bedroom, which is going to be on the first floor, and it's going to be on the hallway that is attached to this, this uh, entrance hall that I made in the previous episode. So the reason why it's a little bit laggy is because I have two Minecraft windows open, because before I record these episodes, it, uh, I make my, my the room of what I'm gonna make and then I look at it while I'm while I'm building. So during the video, if I pause the video, that's because I'm taking a look at the other Minecraft window which is open, which is uh, also why it might be a little bit laggy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of the hallway. We're not gonna work on the hallway today. We're just going to extend it enough t to where I want to build. So, I don't think I have to open the Minecraft window to know that it's like going to be 15 blocks that way and all the way to the wall that way, starting here, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to take a quick check just to make sure. One second. Okay, so it needs to go one to the wall, and yeah, two from the thing. Okay, so it needs to be one more over, and this should, should line up with, yeah, two before that window. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and build out this way. Also, I need to show some. Um, these pictures over here fell off because in the, I'm using, right now I'm using the latest snapshot, which in, includes like the heads and stuff and you can check that out on probably someone else's channel. I'm not going to do a review of that, but I, I probably will do a overview of things that are coming out in 1.4 when 1.4 does come out. So yeah. Alright, so I'm going to basically make the outline of this room. Also, um, I need to mention, I was originally going to do an art gallery for this episode, but since I realized that the paintings were broken and the snapshots, like you can only place the one by one and the one by twos, those only work. So those paintings paintings broke. So that's why I'm not doing an art gallery. But but I've done a lot of experimenting with this, uh, with making this master bedroom, and it's gonna turn out very nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through the process of building this wall. Okay, so that is the general outline of how big this master bedroom is going to be. And if I remember correctly, um, I think the door would be there. One second. I think I, in my original design, I had a door placed, but it might have been a little bit off, and there, there was like a better location. Yeah, um, I'll get to that later. Right now, it's just going to go there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the carpet, which unfortunately... I'm going to have to speed through again, but I'm going to tell you that it's going to be orange and yellow. Those are the colors that I've chosen, and I believe it was yellow on the outside. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through this as well. Alright, so now that covers the floor. So now I can get into making the actual aesthetics of the master bedroom. So I'm going to make is the, the, the big king size bed that's going to go right dead in the center. So let me just uh, focus my other Minecraft window on that bed so I can have a reference. Alright. Okay, so it's going to, I need to extend this window over here to make it line up with the bed because the bed is going to be four blocks wide. Alright, so, to begin, we need to get out, what are they called? They're new, only in the snapshots. They're the cobblestone walls, and also I'm going to need stairs, I'm going to need some wool, both red and white, and some snow, 
Yeah, this this bed calls for a lot of supplies. We're gonna use the jungle wood. I think it looks a little bit nicer. We do need that fence. I don't need the windows anymore for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that glass with the fence. And I believe I have most, or if not all, of the materials that I'll be needing. All right, so I'm going to be replacing these with stairs. And you might be wondering why. Actually, you know what? I don't think I need. To, yeah, I don't need to do that because I had an original design that required me to place stairs there. The reason why I would have had to place those stairs is because these don't attract to that, so it makes a better look for a back post to a bed. But if you use these and you try and place these down, it doesn't look so good. So that's why I'd place those stairs. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is use my other design, and we're going to just place place those uh, stone slab. Uh, what are they called? Stone bricks there. All right. So now we're going to build the rest of the frame for the bed, which is just going to be. Uh, f four jungle wood stairs facing opposite each other. We're gonna put jungle wood slabs there, and y you can probably guess where the actual bed is going to be. It's gonna be right there. But before that, we're gonna place those there, and then we're going to place the cobblestone wall across that on both sides. And what's good is that the cobblestone wall doesn't actually connect with the glass, so that looks good. But the glass isn't exactly needed. It's only for outside purposes, I guess, for looking into. Alright, so next we're going to place these posts here. You can probably see the shape of a bed coming together. And next, to basically complete the frame, I guess, of the bed, we're going to place these jungle wood stairs across the top. Like so. And in the new snapshots, uh, the the uh, stairs will connect to each other in this cool fashion right here and hopefully that st stays um, it's been rumored that it might go away because it might ruin some creations that have already been created but I'm hoping that that will stay because currently I don't think I've made anything that would break if that were to be removed okay so just, let me just repair this roof unfortunately I'm going to have to fly around so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that I'll be right back okay so we're back into the main bedroom and before we place on the bed we're going to go ahead and place half slabs on the top like that and now we can place our bed and the bed isn't functional I tried to find a way that would make it functional and still still look good and appeasing to the eye but I could not find a way I, I tried to like place a bed right here long ways and place snow on top of it using MC edit but you couldn't get into the bed which is a shame because I'd really like to have a functional bed but right now let me take a look yeah that 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 is the, the bed so far actually there's one thing I I messed up on that needs to be like that and it does look a little bit better, I guess. All right, so next on the list is, I need to put down these walls right here. Three, I think they're three, yeah, they're three, three wide. And I'm going to need the stone slabs for that. I don't think I'm gonna need red wool anymore. And I do remember that these aren't gonna be full height. These are only gonna go that high. Also in front of the bed, there's going to be this really odd looking thing it's gonna hold some uh, flowers and pots another feature of the snapshots and yeah it's gonna have a weird fountain thing going on behind it so I'm gonna start that right now um, it's pretty easy to make I'm looking at it right now yeah I think I have it memorized or at least the beginnings of it so we're gonna do that oh I must not oh okay right here so I, I believe only a one space gap should be between this and the bed so when you're sitting in bed you're gonna see this glass thing that's gonna have a waterfall behind it it's gonna look nice all right let me this needs to be an upside down staircase and so do these I don't know the technical name for what exactly I'm building I just know it looks pretty cool and I'd like to have one in my bedroom <laughs> okay so I'm gonna place these here actually I don't think I need those yeah, because there's going to be glass here. I forgot that I still need that glass, actually. Um, where's the glass? Where did it go to? Ah, decoration. 
Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and place the glass. That way I don't have to deal with it later. Actually, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that glass later as well. But think, well, something that I need right now are the trap doors. I'm gonna keep. I don't need snow anymore. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that I don't need snow for the rest of this build, anyways. All right, so we're gonna place that there on the bottom half of that block right there, and then we're gonna copy that on the other side. That way we have room to place a, a potted plant. But we'll do all the minor things at the end, just to, so that we can do it all in one blow. That's what she said. All right, now we need to get our mind out of the gutter and finish this up. Okay, so actually these don't need to be the smooth stone slabs, so I'm gonna have to replace those trap doors, unfortunately. All right, that looks better. And then these are stone slabs. Okay, so that is the front portion of that, and I believe I need the, what are they called? The, the cobblestone walls. They need to be placed here for no reason. Just, just to provide a back, I guess, to the counter, I, I guess? Counter? I don't remember the name for it. It's, it's just lost from my mind, but I'm sure it'll come to me. Whatever it's called. Alright, so we're just gonna place those there and then cover up those tops like that with these half slabs. Okay, so it's really hard to remember all this, so I am doing a lot of pausing. I apologize for that, but it is needed if we're going to be able to do this. Alright, so. Okay, now we're going to be doing. Um, oh, I know what to do. Alright, so there are these little things right here. I don't know exactly. They're, they're counters. They're counters, that's what they are. So I'm going to use the feature that they connect in that awesome fashion to make this awesome counter thing. And I'm going to do that over here, but it's going to go three out over here. And that needs to be placed in that orientation. That way. Alright, so those are those little mini counters. Those are there really just to take up space. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little walk-in closet. And yeah, it's really simple. It, it has no roof, but... But yeah, it's a pretty cool concept, I guess, for a walk-in closet that doesn't need a roof. Because if I had a roof, it wouldn't look very even over here and over there. So that's why there's no roof there. So we're going to put a door down. Right here, facing this way. And we'll put those chests in and all those other things later. Alright, so I'm going to build the fountain, and then I'm going to have to do something with NC Edit to make something really cool that I kind of, I guess, invented. Someone's probably already done it before, but it looks really cool, and I'll show you that after I make this fountain. So to do the fountain, if I remember correctly, it's that needs to be filled in, and then it's four, and then there, and there, and then there. And then I'm going to have to break these two pieces of wool, because that's where the fountain's going to flow into. I'm going to go ahead and replace all of these with with uh, the, the slabs, just to make it look nice. Okay, so now I can go ahead and place the water for the fountain. I don't believe I need much white wool anymore. Alright, so now the fountain is flowing. I know that I'm going to be using glass all around that. I'm going to take a quick look at the fountain just, to, just to, so I can know what I'm doing. Okay, and okay. All right, I know what I'm doing. I think I'll probably have to look back. It's inevitable, but I think I have the gist of it. There, there, there. Everything in this in this room is very cramped, but I kind of like the fact that everything is cozy. All right, so that fountain is almost done. I just need to place down these vines. These vines are just there, just because. Because I said so. That's why. Alright. So now we're going to move on to this. It's getting a little bit dark. There. Alright. We're going to move on to this this chair. It's uh, really, really cool. I, I've i been using MC Edit lately. And you're able to do some really cool things. Like place blocks that you're normally not supposed to. And I'll show you what I mean in one second. I just need to place this here. And position myself two trap doors that I can move an MC edit. Where are those trapdoors? Redstone. 
Okay, so I'm gonna place one. Ooh. Needs to be up. All right, so I will be right back, and when I am, I will be in MC Edit. All right, so we're in MC Edit, and as you can see, you can kind of tell where we are. Those purple things are things that MC Edit doesn't recognize because I don't think this MC Edit version supports the blocks that are being used that have to do with like the snapshot or just 1.3 because I don't even know if this MC Edit is for 1.3 alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these right here these uh, trap doors and we're just gonna nudge them over to there because normally you can't place them on the side of stair blocks for some reason so we're gonna nudge that we're gonna delete that and that's all that we needed to do for MC Edit at the moment I think that's all we're gonna need to do I think for all of what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so I'll meet you back in the mansion room. Okay, we're back, and I forgot to mention that I, I actually had to save that by clicking Control S, which I didn't show before I cut. So yeah, now we're here, and we have our pretty cool looking chair thing. And you can toggle that, but if I were to break that, I wouldn't be able to place that down, so I'll be, got to be careful. Okay, so, next thing we're going to do is, a, is put a bookcase right here. Um... Let me let me check and see where the position of that bookcase was. Um, yeah, it's flush with the wall over here. So the books need to go right here, flush with this wall. And that's gonna be three tall. No, it's gonna be four. No, three. Yeah, three. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add like a, I guess a frame to this. Place them at the top, just in case, like, if you are in, in ac actually living in this mansion, you could, I guess, like, if this was real life, because in Minecraft, you can't really use these as shelves, shelves, but I guess you could use these as shelves, too, if you wanted, but whatever. But we're just going to place them there, just in case someone would want to. <laughs> okay, so now we have our bookcases, and that's, we're almost done with this, guys. We just need to place down the aesthetics. If I pronounce that correctly, and put down a roof and put a light here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down some stuff. I'm gonna need flower pot. I'm gonna need the rose. That thing. Mushrooms of all flavors. <laughs> Item frames. We're gonna need oh a creeper head. And oh I forgot to just to talk about or no not talk about but place down something. Where is the oak wood stairs? Alright, so I'm going to place down a counter next to the bed. One of them is going to have a flower pot with a dan a uh, daisy, I guess. And the other one is going to have a creeper head staring at you when you wake up. Alright, so that, that, that covers the bed completely, I believe. And these are going to have roses in them. I've already decided that. And this one's gonna have a mushroom. Don't remember which type, don't think it matters. But that's gonna have a mushroom. And this one's gonna have a mushroom. And this is going to have a picture of I forgot. What was it? It I it was decent it was a decent idea for a random picture of a random item on a wall. Oh yeah, it was a lily pad. <laughs> that makes sense. Cause everyone has a lily pad. On their wall all right just cuz just cuz you can this one is going to have a book a picture of a book on it for some reason why not that's that's what I always ask myself when I'm doing stuff okay so book on that one and we're gonna place down some paintings just random paintings unfortunately they're only gonna be one by one or two by one so, I want a two- oh, no, I just broke that. Okay, let me fix that. You don't need the creeper head. I want that two by one. Or one by- yeah, there we go. That's like the only one that you can place. So, ooh, wow, I, I must be wrong. Alright, so I, I do like the idea of having two right there, two, two one by twos. Alright, so now we're gonna place just random paintings over the wall. Just random spots that I feel deserve to have a painting on them, I guess. Okay, so, next, we need to work on this little closet right here. Um, we're gonna need the item frame. I want to put there and there. 
a pair of pants, and a tunic. And we're going to need oak stairs. No, wait, I want to use jungle wood stairs for this. So we're just going to place that there. Go into my, my decor. And place these chests here. Which I guess would just be places where you'd store your clothes or armor or whatever you would put in your, your walk-in closet in Minecraft. Okay. Um, next, I want to put down these trap doors for absolutely no reason except for the fact that it kind of looks cool. If if you guys want me to remove that because it kind of looks stupid, I will, but it might it might work a little bit better once I first add something. Um, I know that the roof isn't supposed to have that wood up there, so let me just take a look. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, yeah. So these need to be, what are they called? The, the stone slabs right here. All around this. I know that those do, but for everywhere else, it's just going to be along the edge. So I'm not going to speed through this, it's not going to take too long. Uh, just just to just to frame the edges with this stone slab. And the purpose for this is to cover up that wood there. Because the the uh height of this this room is going to be higher than the the traditional height for the rooms that are gonna be in this mansion. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about a room that's gonna be above this. I'll probably like make it storage space or something, but I'm not quite sure right now. Okay, so I I need to place down a redstone lamp here, because that's going to be one of the main lights for the general room. Okay, so next I need to place down, you know, I don't know what would work better, a uh, stone roof or a stone slab roof. I'm going to just take a quick look over here, see what that looks like. I think I would like a stone roof better, personally. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. But one thing, I don't know if that works. Let me take a look. How did I do that? Oh, no, it has to be a uh, regular. That's unfortunate. You know what? I guess I could use the, uh, what are they called? Stone brick slabs instead. That might look better. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that just, just for that. Just for the area that isn't lowered around the edges. So I actually am going to speed through this because it can take about three minutes to do. So, yeah. Alright, so now that we're done with the roof, I think pretty much everything is covered. I just need to place down a few torches and, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to place down some redstone torches as well, because I don't like my rooms to be too bright, because it can ruin the effect when it's nighttime, I guess. So I know I want one there, one there, ooh, that triggered that, and one, mm, why not there? And, you know, that creeper always gets me when I'm walking around here. Like, when you wake up, that's the first thing you see, it's a creeper. How about that? Okay. One, I think this is probably one of the last things I'm doing. I need to place a redstone thing there. And that'll be covered up so that like the, the room that's going to be above it won't have to deal with that light pouring into their room. Oh, I, I do need to place a door for the room. Because every room does need a door. You can't have a room without a door. Alright, so I think that is everything for this room. Um, I'll, I'll get a good look at this. Let's, let's get a good look at this. In F8 mode, too. Just, just to get the cinematic feel of how awesome this room turned out. Let's, let's, let's do a cinematic entry into our, into our room. That's, that's nice. That's a nice room right there. I'd like to live in this room. Uh, how about you guys? Tell me in the comments if you like, if you like this video. Please do comment and like and subscribe if you haven't, because this this video I just realized it's gonna take a lot of editing and it does take a lot of work. So I just really enjoy to have have it worth it in the end whenever I'm making these videos for you guys. And it always is because you guys are great. And yeah. <laughs> be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Uh be sure to yeah, for the next episode of 
of making a mansion, which probably will be the art gallery if, if, the, if the pictures get fixed. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.